Kansas City's mayor calls 911 hold times a true emergency that needs immediate attention. He says everything is on the table to fix that problem. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Josh Jackson. And I'm Carolyn Long. It is an issue KCTV 5 has aggressively reported on for years. The latest data from May shows your average wait time to connect with a real person was a full minute. Let's get right to investigative reporter Angie Bracono. She just spoke with the mayor. Angie? The mayor says he's proposing changes at the next Board of Police Commissioners meeting in a couple of weeks. This comes after his own personal experience with 911 when his mother needed help. His sister waited more than four minutes to connect with a real person. And right now in Kansas City, too often it is, thank you for calling 911. Please remain on hold, right? I mean, that is horrifying. Mayor Quentin Lucas calls current wait times in Kansas City unacceptable. Look. People call for heart attacks and strokes and overdoses. He's looking at technology solutions, telling KCTV5 about one option where people calling 911 could pick what type of help they need. You have reached Kansas City, Missouri 911. All call takers are currently busy. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Please do not hang up. You'd bypass that initial message and select if you need fire, EMS, or police. How important is this issue to resolve quickly? It is vital that this gets resolved quickly. The mayor also questions who should manage 911. And if we need to change how we assign it, right now all of our 911 dispatch starts at the Kansas City Police Department. Should we do that through fire, some other service? That's something, because frankly, everything's on the table. We'll get someone there, okay? The most recent 911 data is shocking. The average hold time in May was a full minute. People waited an average of 1 minute 39 seconds on May 6th. And on that day, someone waited 16 minutes and 24 seconds. Extreme waits happen all the time. KCTV5 has learned that just in May, 7,940 calls sat in queue for five minutes or even longer. We should not just be waiting for a long-term solution. We can't shrug our shoulders and say, maybe it'll get fixed at some point. It is something that, that frankly is an, an emergency, and it is a true emergency in every way. Right now, if you call 911, you will likely hear the automated message, and you will need to wait on hold. If you hang up and call back, you simply move to the end of the queue. Police ask you only call 911 for true emergencies. Consider using other non-emergency numbers if that's appropriate. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.